Hey awesome people! I have here the Huawei Y8s and this is my unboxing and first impressions video. Here's a trivia before we begin. This is a Chinese multinational technology company and brand from China. This is pronounced Huawei. Huawei. The H to Huawei is virtually silent in Chinese. So do not say Huawei, but rather Huawei. Huawei. So this is the packaging of Huawei Y8s. I got the 64 gigabyte of storage unit and 4 gig RAM. Let's see what's inside. You will see the phone unit right away. It's the midnight black version. We will see the specs of this later. It also comes with this case. So don't worry about trying to find the exact case for the phone. Of course, we have this standard charger. Now seeing this charger, I feel a little bit of disappointed because I was hoping to see a USB-C cable but this unit comes with micro USB cable and finally we have these earphones so that's it for what's inside the box I already set up the phone to save time let's talk about the specifications it has a 6.5 inch full HD display. It has a notch with two cameras on it. This is an 8 megapixel selfie cam and the other is a 2 megapixel depth cam. If you look at the back, it has two cameras as well. 48 megapixel main camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. This one right here is an LED flash. Here's the fingerprint scanner. The CPU of this phone is the Kirin 710 based on the 12 nanometer architecture. And you get the Mali GPU which is a G51 GPU. In this phone, there is a 4000 milliamp battery. And that is good enough to give you about 1.5 to 2 days of battery life usage. Let's check out the hardware. We have the volume up and down buttons on the right hand side as well as the lock and power key. The top is perfectly clean with this microphone hole. The left side is neat and it holds the SIM tray. This phone, by the way, supports dual SIM, as well as an SD card, which is nice considering the phone trends today. On the bottom, you have the micro USB port, which is disappointing as I said, because most Android devices nowadays come with Type-C USB. This one hasn't moved on to that yet. Here we have the bottom firing speaker and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Overall, this phone feels solid. I know the edges are made out of plastic but they feel quite solid and the phone itself is dense. The back is also made up of reflective plastic material. It looks premium to me. I guess this is Huawei's signature design. All their phones actually invest on aesthetic appearances. Here's a little catch though. This backside, as expected, catches fingerprints like crazy. So you really need a phone case. Thank goodness it comes with one. Now this camera bump on the back will cause wiggling when you place the phone on the table. 
The buttons are responsive and I like them that way. Other than the fingerprint scanner on the back, you can also unlock the phone with your face which adds a sense of security. The display on this phone is actually good. I just hope they did not put this camera notch here because it takes away a bit of your viewing experience. The colors, however, compensate for that because they are really good. Talk about 16 million colors, huh? The resolution is 1080 by 2340 pixels and that is a wower. Remember, this is an LCD display and it gets quite bright and the contrast level is really good. I am actually happy overall with this display. I think you will struggle at first when you try to use this phone with one hand because it's huge. There are some unreachable icons and sometimes you need to stretch over them so better use your other hand. The speakers on this phone are actually decent. They are not super loud but the sound quality is something you won't complain about because it's quite clear. This phone is running on MUI 9.1 on top of Android 9. It's very Huawei-ish. Well, I have been using Huawei phones for more than a year now and I am really used to this feel. I am a huge fan of this UI because it's very usable and very friendly. Users won't have any issue with it. You won't hear anyone saying he's lost or something. When it comes to speed, the phone is really responsive, fast as you can see. Performance wise, I don't think there's anything to worry about with this chipset. One interesting feature of this phone is that the phone adjusts the resolution of the display based on the power consumption. Example, when you try to save battery life, the phone will automatically switch to 720p resolution which is a slightly lower resolution to its 1080p default. That way, you save power. Smart! As with most devices, this phone comes with a pre-installed Google Play Store so downloading all your favorite apps is easy as 1, 2, 3. Basically, you get a lot of options to play around here. Settings to temper around with if you're looking to fully customize your phone. As for me, I normally go with the phone default setting. It makes my life easier. Let's quickly test the 48 megapixel camera to see the kind of impression it leaves. Let's take a picture of this. Let's have a look. I may be subjective here because I am a huge fan of Huawei cameras. As you can see, the result is not bad at all. I can't complain about the color, the contrast, and the details. The cameras, to be honest, seem to be a very good reason to buy this phone in this price range. So that's the unboxing and review of this phone. Let me tell you, I think this is a decent phone and it's very practical to buy this one because you don't have to spend a lot of money. Plus, you get all the features that you need. For me, my favorite, of course, from Huawei is always the camera. What do you guys think about this phone? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you awesome people for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you in my next video.